Hello everybody. Thought I'd just do a quick walk through this morning and uh, kind of show everybody where we're at in the garden at this point in time. Uh, just kind of follow along and uh, we'll kind of see where we're at. Start here on the east side of the garden. Uh, here in front of us we've got some uh, zucchini and yellow squash uh, that we started, uh, I guess it's been two and a half, three weeks ago. And they've all came up doing pretty good. I'm kind of shading them just a little bit from the west sun. Uh, just until they get a uh, good root system established, uh, keep them from uh, having too much heat stress in this weather we've had. Next, I've got a couple of rows here of uh, purple hole peas. Planted these back, uh, I guess, around June 1st. Might have just been a little bit earlier than that. There's some little peas coming up uh, or coming out right there. Next, I've got my bell peppers. Uh, these have done okay. Uh, same thing as last year. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, last year my peppers were kind of like this. They just were real slow to grow. Uh, we have produced some peppers this year, but it seemed like about this time of year last year, uh, according to my journal, man, these things took off, and by about middle of August, they were uh, up about four or five feet tall and just loaded with peppers. I'm hoping for that same result this year. There's a close-up of one that's got several peppers on it. Next, I've got some uh, zucchini and yellow squash that's uh, still hanging on. This was actually what we planted back in March, and uh, it's produced a lot. I've been kind of cutting back some of the the uh, foliage and all that uh, the squash bugs have been attacking pretty hard and heavy. I've been out here spraying and squishing them things when I see them, but uh, they're still producing. So as long as they're gonna produce, I'm gonna leave them here. This is a zucchini here that uh, was my biggest plant by far. I mean, huge leaves and plant was uh, about a three foot by three foot square uh, covered this whole area, but uh, I cut it all the way back and just left a, just a few of those leaves on there and it, it has really taken off and, and started producing some new uh, foliage. So like I say, I'm just gonna leave these in. I don't necessarily need this space right now. So uh, we'll just kind of leave them and uh, let them do their, do their thing, hopefully. Next, I've got my uh, tame jalapenos and there's some banana peppers and I think a uh, poblano pepper somewhere along in there. Uh, once again, peppers uh, I've kind of struggled with this year. I, these particular peppers, first year I planted the tame jalapenos, but uh, I'm still fertilizing them, watering them, and uh, we'll see what happens. Got a couple of rows here of okra. Uh, produced a lot of okra this year. We've done real well with it. This particular variety here is the red burgundy. Uh, to me, I can't really tell the taste difference between it and the uh, Clemson spineless that I always grow. Uh, it's been it's been pretty good and uh, has been actually a little bit more productive than the uh, the uh, normal green okra that I that I grow. This one is a hill country red okra, and uh, it's produced well as well. Uh, I'm not convinced I really like this variety yet. Uh, as far as taste, I don't know. Uh, it, it produces a bigger pod than uh, normal okra. Uh, we'll see. What in the world is that? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I can't tell what he's doing. I can't tell if he's chewing or if he's just sitting there resting. I hate to harm him if he's a good bug, but some of you guys might be able to tell me what it is. Cucumbers uh, have done real well for us this year. They've kind of played down just a little bit, uh, still producing, but not as much as it was back when it was a little bit cooler. Uh, but we're gonna leave them here, keep watering them and uh, fertilizing them and go from there. Got a cantaloupe here that has uh, hijacked my cucumber trellis. Well, guys, tomatoes this year, I don't know. I have struggled and struggled and struggled with tomatoes this year. I've been embarrassed to even show my vines, but uh, they're still producing. I mean, you can see a lot of uh, fruit on there. Uh, we've picked a ton of tomatoes this year. 
but we have got ourselves some kind of blight issue, I think, and uh, and I'm gonna pretty soon cut these back and see if I can make some make a go at it for fall. Uh, did that last year and had real good results with it. I've got some uh, rows here that I just planted yesterday of some uh, more purple hole peas. Uh, these ought to be up with this uh, heat and uh, as warm as the soil is, uh, ought to be up here in no time. Morning, pumpkin. What are you doing this morning? What got you up so early? <laughs> are you ready to pop some firecrackers tonight? that sound fun? All right. Got a couple of rows here of uh, sweet potatoes I've been getting started. Uh, been just taking cuttings off of the sweet potatoes I've got on the other side of the yard and coming over here and planting them. All the sunflowers are uh, in full bloom and uh, just shining their glory this morning. Waiting for that sun to give them a little bit of a kiss. Right over here on the west side of the garden, I've got four rows of uh, black-eyed peas. I uh, planted these about three weeks ago. Got to get in there and do a little weeding today, looks like. Got me some twins there. Got me some cantaloupes that have grown together. There's another one right there. That's a pretty picture right there. Here on the furthest west side of my garden, I've got uh, seven more rows of black eyes coming up and uh, got to get in here and get some weeding done here as well. My little black eyed pea patch that I planted back in April, uh, we've picked quite a few off of here and uh, what's left on here I'm going to let go to seed and we're going to collect these and uh, save them for seed next year. Hey honey bun, what are you doing? Think I was gonna ignore y'all today? Well, everybody, I appreciate you watching the video and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. And God bless and we'll see y'all later.